had an idea for a project which involves cutting some quarter inch MDF material into the shape of some of the states. Uh, here I'm cutting some Indiana, some Georgia, some Alabama, and Texas shapes out of uh, this quarter inch MDF. Out of that 2x4 piece of MDF, I've got 3 Indiana, 4 Georgia, 1 Alabama, and 1 Texas. I went through a bunch of old family photos, many of them black and white, and selected a few for this project. I used my new printer, my Epson ET2760, which has a scanning feature, and scanned in the photos, and then I could bring them into my software, uh, Vinyl Master Cut. Once I narrowed down which photographs I wanted to use, I arranged them kind of in the shape of Indiana. Indiana is a tough state to uh, arrange photographs in. But uh, I used the outline here and made sure that I was going to get uh, full coverage over the piece of MDF and also make, zoomed in here and made sure I wasn't going to cut anybody's head off or something like that. Once I had all the photographs arranged the way I uh, wanted, I was ready to hit the uh, print button, and then I need to make sure that I change the paper size to uh, legal size 8.5 by 14, because that's what I'm going to use to run this on. And then also, I need to make sure I set, select for a mirror image, and then I'm ready to hit print. And this is what the image looks like after it came out of my uh, Epson sublimation printer. Next it was time to get the laminate film out and get the uh, MDF ready to uh, put on the heat press to attach this laminate to it. I set the Indiana blank down and just uh, used my ruler and X-Acto knife to cut off a piece that was plenty big uh, to cover the whole thing. Next I'm going to set the laminate on top of the blank of Indiana and get ready to go turn on the heat press and let it be eaten up. Before I heat up the heat press, I need to swing it around and make sure I have the pressure adjusted. And it's a little too snug here, so I'm going to loosen it up. Uh, I still want a pretty firm pressure, but I've got to be able to uh, get it to close. Maybe just a little bit less. And there we go. Now I'm going to turn the heat press on, and it'll take it a few minutes to heat up, but I'm going to set the temperature at 365 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to set the timer for 90 seconds. I keep forget to ordering some parchment paper so I'm using some of that brown crap uh, paper that comes in my Amazon packages and it's all wrinkled up but don't judge me. I put a piece of the brown paper on the bottom and then the MDF and then I sp spread the uh, laminate film over the MDF and then another piece of brown paper on top 
and as soon as it heats up we are good to go hit the timer for 90 seconds and through the magic of video the 90 seconds is up and we'll pull this out and see what we have Here you can see how the laminate just bonds to the MDF and you have a really smooth, shiny surface. Off camera I took my X-Acto knife and trimmed all the laminate around the edges. It would have been a lot easier if I was doing the state like Colorado or something like that, but uh, Indiana's a little tough with that uh, southern portion there, but I got it done. After letting it cool down a little bit, it's back to the heat press. Again, brown paper on the bottom, the MDF with the laminate on it. Then turn the uh, photograph on the sublimation paper face down. And I actually used my scissors and cut a couple of things to help me get it lined up. And then some more brown paper on top. And swing the heat press around and we're good to go for another 90 seconds. Again, through the magic of video, the 90 seconds goes by pretty quick, and I'll turn off the timer and remove the top sheet of brown paper, and then carefully pick it up and move it over to a cooling area because it's still plenty hot right now. Now it's time for the big reveal, and it looks fantastic. The uh, sublimation really worked well. And if it looks like those photographs are really old, it's because they are. <laughs> Most of them are probably 60, 70, 80 years old. They were all black and white photographs. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's, uh, I'm really liking this uh, dye sublimation stuff. And this was my first time trying it uh, on wood. And i got to tell you, this gives me a lot of ideas on using my CNC to cut different shapes out of wood and then doing something like this with some kind of dye sublimation uh, on that. So got a lot of ideas uh, kind of spinning around up here. And like I said, these, you know, the colors are not going to pop too much because they're all black and white photos. Let's see if I can get it up here where you can see. Uh, these are all really old photos. In fact, this guy right here you might recognize. That's uh, yours truly. And I'm sitting there on uh, Grandma's porch, looks like. So that uh, that was probably over 60, well, it was over 60 years ago. So really old photos. So really happy with how that turned out. So if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button down below. You can hit the little bell right next to it and get notifications of every time I upload a video. And I guess that's going to do it for this one. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.